Next tonight, to the ongoing turmoil faced by steelworkers in Scunthorpe, where 2,000 jobs remain at risk under plans to close the blast furnaces. More than 160 businesses and community groups have now signed an open letter calling on the government to save the town's steel industry, and many of them will come together at a meeting in the town tonight to demand answers. Our reporter Amelia Beckett is at the steelworks for us now. Amelia, tell us what this meeting is all about. Well, this meeting will bring together people from right across Scunthorpe who all believe that if these jobs go, it could potentially change this town and its skyline for good. Now, the reason these jobs are at risk is because British Steel says it's essential to decarbonise this industry and in doing so, potentially fewer jobs are necessary. But unions say there are other options, which is partly why they're meeting with businesses tonight to try and find a way forward. If these jobs do go, they say that the impact could be as great as the pit closures of the 1980s. It's an industry which helped build this town, but one which could now lead to its downfall. Scunthorpe Steelworks has long been a source of pride across this community. Martin is a third generation steel worker, but now he's fighting to protect the livelihoods of more than 2,000 workers, whose jobs are at risk. It's the biggest private employer in the town. You can't take that out uh, and reduce it by 2,000 jobs and it not have a devastating impact on the local community. Joining him today, local activist Malcolm and local councillor Judith know all too well the shadow that these cuts could cast over their town. Scunthorpe Steel's been embedded in Scunthorpe. It's embedded in our community. It affects so many people. And I spoke to a resident last week and her daughter works here and her job's at risk. They've just got a new house. They've just got a mortgage. They, they don't know which way to turn. Under plans to make steel production greener, Chinese company Jingge, which owns the site, wants to close the blast furnaces and replace them with two cheaper electric arc furnaces, which unions say would cut the need for up to 2,000 jobs. It is the latest in what Martin says has been a 15-year fight to keep British steel. How is morale? It's in the toilet, to put it mildly. But this place once stoked both the jobs market and the high street here. Signs of what could come already clear today. And hair braider Adesinda is worried. It's all workers, so you have, for me to have uh, clients, the workers have to have money and to pay me so I can have a job as well. The uh, steel work that maintains this town, I think once it's gone, it's gone. We're all going to suffer with that. Down the road, body piercer Sarah is so concerned, she's now signed a letter alongside 160 other businesses calling on the government to save these jobs. People are already struggling and tightening the belts. Things like this, people do with extra money. So if they've not got extra money, then that's going to affect us and we, well, hopefully we won't shut down. But you see it all the time, businesses are closing. British Steel told us they are committed to making the steel Britain needs for generations to come, while the government says it continues to work closely with industry to secure a sustainable and competitive future for the sector and its workers. A sector which those meeting tonight say is integral to Scunthorpe's future. Amelia Beckett, ITV News, Scunthorpe.